Previously, the Finance Ministry released a list of numerous accounting officers that were laid off on grounds of incompetence. The Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayebwa, has today expressed displeasure over the decision as many are dropped, punished and later deployed elsewhere. According to Tayebwa, the Ministry of Finance should explain the criteria used to drop these accounting officers and further caution date for incompetent staff. So why keep them in positions of responsibility? Where is the gap? Is it in the row? If it's in the row, then we amend the row. If you are dropped as an accounting officer, we know it's a disciplinary measure and a harsher sentence is given. But not recycling. Not recycling. In addition to the Speaker's submission, members of Parliament have also expressed their disappointment over government's unethical appointment of accounting, which has in turn laid to deficits and accumulation of domestic dates. And most of them used to come from Teso region and Rango. I remember. Very brilliant people. But now currently, currently, this business of robbing to be a PS or to be a cow in the district should stop. Let's go according to merit. We guided the ministry that they should actually take action. And if somebody is removed for indiscipline, there is no way they should continue to hold a public office. There must be commensurate uh, accountability and disciplinary actions taken. No accounting officer can be dropped without a reason. There is always a reason why that person has been dropped. And most of them related to uh, issues of maybe financial, uh, financial loss or, yes. So, right honourable speaker, is it procedurally right for us to continue with this subject when the Minister of Finance is here? He should explain, maybe give more light to this subject, right honourable speaker. The Deputy Speaker has resolved the Ministry of Finance, Public Service and Local Government together with the Office of the Attorney General one week to avail Parliament the complete list of all accounting officers who have been dropped in the last three years. Meanwhile, there is a growing demand for reparation based on the Public Finance Management Act. Give us a status of accounting officers who were suspended for the last three financial years because reasons were given for their suspension and we want to know whether their issues were sorted or not according to reasons which we are given for suspending. From section 11 2G of the Public Finance Management Act 2015 as amended. What do these laws require us to do? The law requires us to look at accountability issues. And it says where the accounting officer has an accounted for funds as clearly stipulated in the Auditor General's report or the internal Auditor General's report, he or she should not be reappointed. The three ministers, the Minister of Public Service, Minister of Finance, and the Minister of Local Government can, look, can be tasked to look into this matter and report to the House in the next two weeks. Then after that, the House can take a decision. Amid the layoffs and demand for equitable public finance management, it's yet to be seen whether the deficit partly exerted by the public finance management will be effectively termed. Andrew Barije, Samuel Chirimunda, Smart24, Business Today.